I'm gonna show you a handful of things that you might be doing wrong on your YouTube channel, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick from TuberTools.com. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, because of the type of services that I have built into my YouTube channel, my review services, my consulting services and all of that, it allows me the opportunity to look under the hood of a lot of YouTube channels. That gives me a lot of really cool data on things that work, things that don't work, things that people are experimenting with that work and don't work and so on. But what I'm gonna share with you today is some very important things that people often overlook that either make your job more difficult as a YouTuber or that actually hurt the growth of your channel. For this, we are going to have to go to the computer because we are going to go into the creator studio. So if you wanna follow along to make sure that you're not doing these things or to go ahead and make the adjustments if you are, go ahead and get your creator studio open in another window so that you can can follow along and make any adjustments necessary. And while you're doing that, I will head to the computer. Okay, now that we're at the computer and we're in your creator studio, the very first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go to your channel and then you wanna go down to advanced. Once you're on this page right here, you wanna scroll down and you're gonna see this little area down here called channel recommendations. Now, through the review service that I do, a lot of people for some reason have do not allow my channel to appear in others recommendations selected. You wanna make sure that you have yours selected to allow yours to appear in other channels recommendation. The reason for this is if you go to another channel and you are looking over in the right sidebar, what you're going to see after you get past the featured channels is you're gonna see something called related channels. Now, if you do not have that option selected, you're not going to appear on any channels in this particular section right here. So it's extremely important because if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that we're about creating those advantages for yourself to help your channel grow instead of the disadvantages that are gonna hinder your channel from growing. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to channel and then down to branding and you wanna make sure that you're using some type of branding watermark. I personally use a subscribe button. I recommend to everybody to use a subscribe button. I have these available on tubertools.com if you're interested in getting one, but at the very least, if you don't get one of those, use something. And the reason for that is, if you're watching a video, anything that you put there is going to create a little graphic down here in the bottom right of the screen. When somebody hovers over that, as you can see right here, it gives them the option to subscribe to the channel. So it's really important, again, that you're creating that advantage for yourself because if you don't have that, then you're basically losing your opportunity to give people another chance to subscribe to your YouTube channel. For this one, you wanna go into your upload defaults. Now, there's gonna be a couple things that we go over here that I often see people not doing correctly. So I'm gonna show you what those things are right now. The first thing that I recommend on your upload defaults is that you change your privacy settings. A lot of people have this as public. Go ahead and change it to private here. This way, whenever you upload a video, you don't have to manually do that every single time on the upload page because it's already set to upload directly to private so you can add your titles, tags, all that stuff without having to actually set it to private in the first place. That actually limits your ability to make a mistake on that particular thing when you're uploading a video. The next thing that I've commonly seen people do is right here where mine says standard YouTube license. I've seen a lot of channels where they have Creative Commons attribution selected. Now, if you're a music channel and you wanna give people the permission to use your content, that's perfectly okay. Keep in mind though, once you make it available for Creative Commons, then that gives people the opportunity to use it for good, right? You can't turn around on that. You can't go back in time and fix that. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that unless you want people, regardless of the type of content that you make, you wanna make sure that unless you are giving people the rights to use your content, as long as they give you credit, you wanna make sure that you have this set to standard YouTube license. As you scroll down the page, another thing that you wanna make sure that you do is have the allow viewers to contribute translated titles, descriptions, and subtitles selected. The reason for that is this allows people that speak other languages to translate your content so that you can reach a broader audience, so that you can rank and search in those particular areas without having to do anything on your end. This allows your community to contribute the titles, descriptions, and subtitles on your behalf. Now, keep in mind, if you do have this selected from time to time, it doesn't happen automatically. So what's going to happen is you're going to have to actually go to your translations and transcriptions area over here in your navigation, and you're going to have to approve those as as they come in. So from time to time, add it to your workflow to go ahead and check this area right here. Okay, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna go into your community settings. To find this, you go to community and then you go down to community settings. Now, if you scroll down the page on this one, what you're gonna find is you're going to find a blocked words list. I highly recommend that you use that. Um, but more importantly, 
I want you to select the block links thing right here. Basically, it's going to block new comments with hashtags and URLs, and they'll be held for review. So this is gonna help you out in live chat if you're doing live streams. This is also going to prevent people from posting links in your comments um, or links or hashtags unless they're a moderator inside of your live streams as well. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.